A newborn baby is a joy for the mother, the family and the society into which a child will eventually grow. But until recently, the prospects for this growth were critically at risk due to many factors challenging the lives of newborn children and their mothers. Just over a decade ago globally, the number of deaths of children under 5 years of age had reduced by half to just over 6 million before the onset of the Ebola pandemic. Sierra Leone has drastically reduced its own share of mortality and morbidity associated with childbirth, but is faced with the challenge of further reducing the country's maternal mortality ratio, which has dropped from 7 to 4 deaths per 1,000 live births. Nevertheless, every maternal death, regardless of the cause and place of death, is unacceptable to the family and to society at large. Um, the Energy Nexus Network is a regional knowledge um, and facilitation hub for scaling renewable energy solutions. We see ourselves on a mission uh, to build resilient ecosystems around decentralized renewable energy. Um, we know that um, development itself needs energy as a catalyst and so we are taking energy as an entry point towards uh, development. At the moment we, we, we are linking energy with health, linking energy with the agricultural value chains and then linking energy also with uh, livelihood. So there uh, could be income generation, improve income revenue streams for um, small businesses and we are doing this in an integrated way. We deploy solutions but um, with the aim to scale. But to do that we try to do proof of concept. Um, once the proof of concept is uh, verified and it is working, then we scale. So for example, we have powered um, 18 facilities now combined in Western Rural District and in Cambia District as a proof of concept. And these proof of concept also have add-ons. Um, out of those 18, we are adding on equipment. Equipment for last mile communities that can facilitate uh, reproductive health care. Um, simple gadgets that have parameters that measure the well-being of pregnant women and the baby they carry. Um, once we get that uh, tested and it is working well as a proof of concept, we want to scale beyond those in those districts and then beyond those districts for the entire country. The birth of a child can occur at any time and access to maternal care around the clock is important especially for night deliveries. In Cambia district, where some of the highest mortality rates have been reported, the district's medical officer is keen on finding solutions, such as solar power, that will provide more accurate data on the parameters indicating the safety of women from pregnancy to delivery. Yeah, well, um, they started um, the, their installation um, activities since last year, and uh, I think they've done it for nine of our health facilities. And uh, this is what our nurses have reported to us. One, one of the, the impacts of the, of the um, installation of this solar system is it has really enhanced um, their, their work, especially in the labor, in the labor unit during the, during the night. You know. Secondly, again, it has um, improved the security because mind you, the, this installation is not only done for the health facility, but it's also done, it's also um, installed um, in, their, um, in their quarters, you know. So, you know, these are women and, uh, you know, um, medical activities are done throughout the, the day and night. So, and sometimes they feel, during, before this time, they were, some, they were afraid to to come out and walk out of their quarters to move to the health facilities. But since the installation of um, the solar system now, they now, f they, they now feel secure to move from their quarters and come to the health, quarters, um, health facility to um, do their, their clinical work. Another area again, they've um, they reported um, um, improvement is in, the, is in the area of reporting. Now they, are, they charge their phones, they charge their gadgets, and then do their inputting, you know, on time, and then sending their report on time. 
So these are basically some of the, um, the impacts we've seen since the installation of um, this um, um, uh, um, solar gadget in nine of our health facilities in Cambia district. Mm -hmm. we want, this is our wish to have this um, um, solar gadget being installed in all of our health facilities. Yeah, health 70 and health day issues. I think in the country as a whole we have about more than 1,000 health facilities. I think this is a very, um, it's a very brilliant idea you know, that we have to embrace you know, as, you know, as, as, as real unions. For renewable energy solution providers like the Energy Nexus Network, solar power for maternal care health providers around the clock is an important way of reducing risk to mother and child through their health innovation program. Uh, the health innovation program, our focus is on powering healthcare in last mine community and we look at a uh, primary healthcare sector in Sierra Leone. Recently we are working in Cambia district and Western Ruland district and then since 2023 to now we succeeded in deploying uh, 18 solution, nine in Cambia, and then nine in Western Ruland District. And in this, we have done two CHC and two CHP, and uh, up to 15 MCHP in both districts. And these are uh, deployment of DRE, Decentralized Renewable Energy, specifically solar, have reached up to 130,000 people have benefited from this that come to the health facility for their uh, health issue, especially delivery. And also we, we impacted up to 168 villages uh, because we, we calculate based on the catchment villages available and catchment population. And then in our system, uh, we focus on sustainability because we realize that smaller solar system, like we, we basically started with one kilowatt system and then we went on to two, 2.5 and now three kilowatt system. We realize that this smaller system can uh, last for long, focusing on sustainability plan. And our sustainability procedure starts with engagement. We engage the Ministry of Health through the DHMT at district level. And then they have to choose the facility for us. And when we have this facility, we go on to, to engage the community people and we make sure we engage them. And then we do our need assessment. And our need assessment data focus on electrification data, health statistics, and also infrastructure. So we don't just give electricity for a specific facility, we also look at other issues, like um, if this is a facility they are having leakage issues, so we consider is it possible that we place our battery here and they are having leakage issue, how can we amend this leakage issue? So we try to engage with other organization NGOs that can help us to solve that leakage problem and we also look at the, uh, the, the, the facility itself how long would this facility be like a uh, wash let's say we focus on wash area do they have they might have electricity now if we give them electricity what about wash there are other constraints so we try to address them but mainly we use energy the light itself as an entry point to all the facility and then we started addressing other issues concerning that uh, currently we we also give in medical technology basic medical technology tools for these nurses and we choose two facility for a pilot a proof of concept and we deploy in that medical and we give them training on how to use it and it's also used by solar a rechargeable system that they can use for a longer period minimum of five years and also in our sustainability plan we continue to engage the the EPC which is the energy procurement company they, we make sure that um, we do our forward and back call linkages where the technology is coming from uh, the end user of the technology and then how we can trace back in terms of fault maintenance or troubleshooting energy for medical equipment can alleviate many clinical constraints but providing energy solutions is also an entry point for a wider scope of development in the community the birth of a child can occur at any time and access to maternal care around the clock is important especially for night deliveries. During our intervention in some of these communities um, particularly on the health sector in Cambia we discovered that most of these um, health staffs 
they use church lights, they use their mobile phones, put them in their mouths to do deliverings. So we discover also that 70 to 80 percent of the deliverings happen at night. So we use energy as an entry point and in improving some of these um, cases. Like you can see in library now, we, we came here, there are no lights. So from the intervention now, we can understand from our nurses based on what we interacted with them that they can do their delivery now in normal without problem because there is electricity everywhere. And also patients do have fear to come to the hospital even at any time. We can also see that in terms of the delivery has also been increased and some of them also share testimonies that um, sometimes they used to prepare their records, their reports during the day because there is always a fear that there is no electricity at night. But because now they have electricity at the center, they can do their reports at any time, even at night. They can send their reports. So these are some of the testimonies, some of the success stories we want to see. And now though we have given electricity to some of these facilities, in Liaburi to be specific in Tonko Limba, Kambia district. But we also want to scale up to other facilities. And all, not only to scale up, but we also want to see that if you want to ensure you have an optimized system, a, a healthcare facility, you also have to look at holistic approach in the sense we also see they have a problem with water facility which has to, do, has to be addressed with other, uh, other partners. So now we are trying to bring some partners like CARWEC, that gold cigar loan, wherein they can come and address some of these issues. Competent birth attendance is important for reducing maternal and newborn morbidity and mortality. Most births are assisted by skilled health professionals, including medical doctors, nurses, and midwives, like maternal child health aide Marian Munu, nurses in church Henrietta Kagbo, and Mabinti Ture, who can attest to the improvements in modern child prenatal and antenatal care. Et ça, vous l'avez tenu que le MCHP, on a également une unité à des sous. Il réduit ce gradé de l'eau qui est en sous. Bon là, à tel point que, ouais, tiens, de non car with this light, they don't do well for we. Let God bless you now. Let God add more blessing for you now. Let God give you a well body and long life. Tiens, let God bless you now. Apart from lack of energy, isolation is another factor contributing to the high incidence of health hazards and deaths among mothers and their under five children. Most roads leading to catchment areas outside of the main district capital are difficult to navigate and thus become last mile communities in terms of access to life-saving interventions. Despite such challenges, the Energy Nexus Network hopes to address maternal and child health along with many more development issues by using energy as a convergence point for innovation and sustainability.